Just breathing in that fresh, fresh air. It's just so tranquil, so beautiful. I feel like I'm going to be saying that quite a lot. That's so cool. We have our own little lodge. <laughs> but the views are absolutely astonishing. The gateway of the tea plantations here in Munar. I should really be drinking tea. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating drinking a coconut. Just breathing in that fresh, fresh air. Good afternoon and welcome to Munar here in Kerala, God's own country. This morning we got up bright and early and embarked on a five hour drive from Aleppo to this beautiful hill station, over 1500 meters above sea level. I'll be honest with you, we slept most of the way, but we did get out and witness one beautiful waterfall. This is why we decided to get a taxi to take us to Munar rather than get the bus because we get to stop off at spots like this. This is incredible. This is Malara waterfalls. Now surprisingly it's monsoon season but it hasn't been too much rain so a lot of the waterfalls on the road are dry but this one's definitely flowing. You wouldn't expect it. It comes out of nowhere. You're just driving along the road and bang a huge waterfall in the middle of the jungle canopy. You would miss this. You would miss all of these waterfalls if you got the bus. There was another one just up here that we stopped at, but it's meant to be monsoon season and there was no water at all. But we have now checked in and had the nicest greeting. Hi. Hello. <laughs> what a welcome. Let's go. Oh, me come to you, okay. Welcome to the village Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, this is lovely. Look at this. You always get such a beautiful welcome here. From the Rivulet River Resort. And look at this. This is our balcony. We are right on the river, surrounded by lush green hills. We have the next day to two days to explore as much as humanly possible of this hill station. But first, we need to show you our room. This is unbelievable. And the activities, we checked in. The hotel has a blooming activities board. There's like 15 activities. We don't even need to leave. We are not leaving this afternoon. We need to appreciate the resort, the views, and it took us a long time to get here, as Matt said. So we might as well make the most of it. The area itself is just so tranquil, so beautiful. I feel like I'm going to be saying that quite a lot. But this is our balcony. A beautiful, beautiful view out on to the hills, the forest, the river. We have a place to sit. So we can enjoy that view. I don't know which way sun's gonna set. Maybe we'll try and catch it. And um, we have our TV, which I'm not using. I'm here. We have a big bed. And actually, they've put a little person made out of flowers. I always think that is so, so clever. We have our bathroom through here. And then, as if we needed any more space, we have a whole living area. Um, again, with like a little, a little annex view. But we are starving. After that long journey, I need to eat. And probably get on with. The, <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll show you when we have lunch. Yeah, we like have a list of activities. I need to eat though. That's so cool. We have our own little lodge overlooking the river. And this, look at this, look at the hills. It's so green. It's unbelievably green. It's almost too green. Which way are we going? This way? Is it this way to the restaurant? Thank you. You know me. Yeah, we can drop Molly off. While I go out exploring tomorrow, we'll drop Molly off in the little kiddies park. But yeah, like Molly said, lunch first. I'll show you the board of activities, which is outrageous. I don't know how we're ever going to get out and actually explore the lush hills, the tea plantations, the waterfalls, and everything in between. And this is it. Look at the board of activities. So they've got nature walk, cycling, archery, badminton, plant a tree, catch your own fish. You can go fishing, horse riding, tea harvesting. You have to get involved. We'll get involved with some of them. If not, like I said, we will never leave this place. Oh wow. This place just gets better and better. Lunch was devoured. Thank you very much. Nani. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. It looks good. Perfect. It looks good. Thank it you. Is what I needed. 
thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. We had to order a cold coffee because I don't know what it is about long drives, but they just take all your energy out of you. We also ordered a lot of food because we haven't eaten since very early this morning and we're very predictable. We have a paneer butter masala, we have patties, we have, I actually have a canned high vegetable. This looks different before. though. It looks much darker. It's a lot darker. Makes it's me think it's milky. spicier. Um, it looks good and it's very much And we're having a coffee in the land of tea and was extremely needed after that long drive and we also found out that at the resort here we weren't sure we thought we might have to pay extra to do some of the activities on the board they told us that apparently every activity is included within the price of your stay which i think is so good but look at this <laughs> this is moonar i'm in an infinity pool overlooking Look at this, wow. The lush green hills. And I think we might have an appointment with a horse at sunset. I think we've decided that from the list, horse riding at sunset by the river sounds the best. Like, as Moonar as it can get. You're only in Moonar once. Appreciate it. Take it all in, look. Wow. We're actually really high right now. Look at that drop. And the views. And that's the restaurant where we just at. I told you, they're doing it right here at the Rivulet Resort. You're in one of the most beautiful places in the world with some of the most unique sights in the world. I don't even care about leaving. Hello. Who's this? Mira. is to ride Mira, the lovely horse. Okay, well, how, what do I do? This will be only my second time ever riding. On here? Oh, Whoa. Oh. Whoa! Are you ready to fall? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. Hello, Mira. Hi, Mira. Give her a stroke first. Bora, bora. This is... Hold this. He's gone. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Mira. So this is your new pet. Oh, you're lovely. Oh, nice. I don't actually know what to do. Hello. It's such a nice touch, isn't it? It's a really nice thought to have. So I can basically ride it along the river and just enjoy as the clouds take over. This makes sense. Now you can get on. This is a good idea. Okay. Right. This side? Okay. And then put one foot on either side. Oh, huh. Whoa, oh. Mira, I can't, I can't jump on. Careful, Molly. Just Careful. Like okay. Like this? Ah. Oh. Over the top? This is a, not a very pleasant view, Molly. Right, sorry. Ooh. Ah. You look good. Okay, Mira, Ooh. be gentle. Ah. Oh. How do you hold on? You good? <laughs> yeah, she's a little bit wonky donkey. Yes. This is such a lovely touch. Although, I must admit, my balance is off. And Mira wants to run. She wants to run very fast, but look at this. The clouds are taking over. I'm on the river and I'm riding Mira. <laughs> Woo! This is, it's hard to hold on, vlog, and keep my balance all at the same time, but the views are absolutely astonishing. Thank you, Mira. Thank you, Thank you so much. You were amazing. Thank you, Mira. You Maybe lovely, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. I think having Molly on your back is enough punishment for Mira for this evening. I didn't want her to go through the pain of having me as well. But you can see at the moment, we've just walked down onto where the river runs parallel to the resort. And normally this would be flowing down. We've seen it cascading all the way along. This is monsoon season and we haven't had, well, they haven't had much rain at all so far in Munar. So this is, this is as good as it gets. Good morning, I mean, is it okay if I get in the front? I can sit in the front today? Thank you. Good morning and welcome back to Munar. We are up bright 
and early this morning we just had a couple of doses for breakfast and we were in the car this is Amin our driver Hi. <laughs> who actually took us to Munar if you're only coming for a couple of days I'd highly recommend booking a taxi a private taxi because obviously four or five hours to get here and there aren't any trains but we are off to see some tea and hopefully we see some elephants yeah. wild elephants this side, this side we hope Been going barely five minutes and we've had to stop already the views are out of this world lush green hills the clouds hugging the mountain tops and wow this looks like a postcard this supposedly isn't even that great a view but i mean look behind me i've never seen anything like it you have like rolling hills you have the entwining roads you've got the beautiful mountains and like matt said the clouds i've never seen so much in. tea honestly i've never seen so much tea and this is this is unreal Fun fact for you, this is the second mile viewpoint and it's actually the gateway of the tea plantations here in Munar. So if this is the first thing that we see, then it shows that we're going to have some unbelievable places to see. This is, is going to be fun, see. look at it. it. It looks photoshopped, honestly. How was that just the gateway? That would have done me. I could go back to the hotel and say, yeah, you know what, I've seen some amazing views of tea but we've been told by a lot of people especially at the hotel that we need to go to gap road it is a whole road that goes for like 50 kilometers that is just surrounded by tens and tens and hundreds of different tea plantations and you can sort of get this area to yourself you can see the actual viewpoints are sort of a little bit touristy you'll have people coming up to you saying can i get a photo of you do you want to buy a coconut which is nice it's even nicer to get your own little tea plantation to yourself we have just made it on to Gap Road and I mean you said this is the best road yes. in the whole of Kerala yes. number, one, number one the most beautiful <laughs> yes. and I can see why we're just going through lush again lush green and beautiful give me my three words today but it, look, look at this look this is just a normal part of the road and we are surrounded look, at these tea hills and then the mountains in the background and this road gap road is actually the road that is built between the two mountains hence the name gap road just enjoy look at that view where you could literally just stop anywhere. There are specific viewpoints which we will check out, but then these ones just pop out of nowhere. Hello. Do you need a whisper person? Okay. okay. Two is good. This is good. Oh. Yeah. Do you have change? Actually, we do not accept no, no, no. cash, ma'am. We have, we have access only the visa credit for you. Only card? Oh. Yeah. Well, this is a first in India. In <laughs> India, only card? Okay, we'll pay do by you, card. Do you accept an uh, international card? Yeah, let you trade it. Okay, we try it. Thank you. And we can just walk around? Okay, like great. if you go anywhere. Anywhere? Yes. Ah, wow. perfect. Thank, Thank you very you much. So much. Happy Onam. Happy Onam. Happy, Happy, Happy Onam. That's really cool because um, a lot of the places you're not actually allowed in the tea fields at all, whether it's at a factory or anything. A lot of it is blocked off. So it's really cool to have stopped off here, which isn't like a... That's the thing to do. Don't go to a designated viewpoint. Just pull up, chance your arm, go for it. And now we are in. Wow, look at this. We're in the tea fields. <laughs> So cool, I wasn't expecting that we'd actually get, in to, get to go into one. If you were to visualise heaven, this, this would be it. We have made it in. I didn't think we'd make it in today. Look we're told, that. look at it, look at the road. Wow. Weaving round, we were told at our hotel that it's really difficult to actually get into the plantations itself because obviously people are growing them and if locals are cutting them it's difficult they don't want you in there getting photos and the actual factories don't let you in so we're very lucky with that guy you can see not many people have ventured in we can just get lost this in the plantation amazing and one thing about the tea plants is i said it to matt they look like a maze because they grow in a way that's so winding um it's just beautiful So 
all of this, this postcard picture setting started back in the late 19th century when the first tea plantations opened. I'm going to give it a smell. I probably shouldn't have picked it, but yeah. pick another one. It doesn't smell of anything. It's just a leaf. It's just a leaf. I expected it. I don't know what, but I expect it to smell of like your cup of tea in the morning, but it doesn't. But here in Munar, all of this and so much more actually equates to half of Kerala's whole tea production. And I mean, you could stand here and take it all in for hours. Hello. How much is a coconut? Can I have one, please? Are they good? They fresh? Are they sweet coconut? They look really it nice. It can't get much fresher than here. Woo! Machete is out. <laughs> And what a location to cut it in front of the tea terraces. I don't know how everyone's so good at it. They're so I know. quick. Whoa. Whoa, we have leakage. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nani. Nandri, is it Nandri? Nandri is Tamil, no? That's Tamil, yes. Nani, are they from Tamil Nadu? Yes. Ah. How do you know? Tamil, every place is Tamil, language is Tamil, Munar. And Malayla. Not Malayla. Can we have a straw, please? Oh, interesting. Amazing. Thank you very much. Wow, that is expertly cut. Thank you. Look at that. Thank you. We'll Thanks have so a view. Mm. Oh, that is so sweet. I think they taste nicer when you get to look out at this. Mm. So good. A fresh Munar. Mm. It's very good. Okay. Mm. Do you want a coconut? No, no, no. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want one? No, 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 no. Okay. Are you sure? Okay, no. Look at this. Coconut. Mm. With that tea. I should really be drinking tea. No, I know. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating drinking a coconut. So tomorrow it will open? Tomorrow, nine o'clock. Tomorrow, nine o'clock. Okay. Thank you very much. Happy on them. So we were just about to go to the Lockhart Tea Factory to see how the tea is made, how it's produced, but unfortunately today is a bank holiday. So hopefully we can find somewhere else, maybe in the Munar town. But if you are coming, I definitely recommend it. It looks really cool. You can go in there, watch the tea production, probably drink some tea. They describe Munar as mist clad, and you can definitely see why the clouds have just started to roll in. We're actually on our way to the city centre because we have a plan B. We need to try some of the famous tea, but again, we had to just stop off. You just stop off everywhere along the road and take in some of the best views you're ever going to see. This looks like a little island, a little tea island with the trees coming out the top. But yeah, everywhere you stop, it's just wow. The only problem today being that it is on them is normally all through these tea fields, you would see the, they call them the tea ladies, the ladies that are out harvesting. But obviously, as it is a day of rest, it is a holiday, it is a celebration. There are no tea ladies behind me. Instead, they're probably on the Kingfisher celebrating on them. We have made it to Munar town. It's given me mountain town vibes. It reminds me a lot of Baguio in the Philippines. Um, but we're hoping to actually try some tea in one of the cafes here. There's not loads. Hello. Hello, Namaskar. Namaskar. Happy honour. I think it's here, but we need to go. We don't know it. if it's open. A lot. Is it open? Tea tails? It's open. Okay. Thank you, Nani. We hope. We hope <laughs> that it is open. This doesn't look. I don't know. This doesn't look too open to me. Excuse me. Tea tails. Right side. Thank you. Oh, look at the rain. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's open? Yeah, I think. This is so funny, it's just like a cafe dotted along loads of little places. Oh no, is it not open? Hello. Hi. Thank you. Thank we you. want to try some tea. Do you do the tea tasting? Yeah, I do. Is it on you the mean, menu? Which one do you do? What tea do you do? Tea inside have. Inside you have. Can we come and have a look? Oh, you have like an office. There's a whole tea room. This is so cool. Oh, wow. 
So this is actually the tea tasting room where they normally have a program, but today, because it's a holiday, there is no staff. So what we've done is we've picked two teas that are famous to Munar. We have the Munar Orthodox tea. And you tea. can see, look, there's just so many different teas. And this one is Ooh. Exotica. Kundali Organic Tea, the Exotica. Mm, it doesn't smell as strong as this one. I'm excited. Okay, one of each, please. That was a little bit confusing, the guy didn't speak any English so he called the owner and the owner explained to us that there isn't anyone there today to explain the tea, to do the full tasting process but in the end, we were going to go for two but we've gone for three of the most famous teas here in Muna and we are sat on this little balcony overlooking the town, it's pretty cool Wow, thank you very much Classic Classic? And the other one Okay, great, Exotica and then are you getting the, the third one, yeah? Okay, great. Right. This is really cool. So this is classic tea. No, thank you. This is classic tea. Now, I actually wasn't expecting it to be yellow. Yeah, look at the colours. This this looks more like your typical kind of. tea This colour. really doesn't. Um, you can see the leaves are in the bottom here. Uh, and we're basically letting it infuse. I'm weird. Why is it yellow? I don't know. Hold on, which one is this? The classic. That's nice. It's kind of bland, I would say. It doesn't have a huge amount of flavour. No flavour at all, actually. Right? It's really tiny. I can't lie. I'm not the biggest fan of that. That would need a lot of sugar. Oh, that's quite strong. Not as strong as I was expecting, okay. but it's nice. It smells sugar. much better. Yeah. That's nice. Bit of sugar, a little bit of milk. Mmm. And you're good to go. Exotic. I think the guy here has actually forgotten our third tea. But that doesn't matter. We've tried two. You couldn't come to Moonar and not try the famous tea. And I very much like, very much like. I like a lot the Exotica. Like I said, a little bit of milk, a little bit of sugar, and that would be perfect. But this really is, this is Moonar Town. It's actually recommended not to stay in Moonar Town if you come to the area. Stay in one of the hotels that has an amazing view itself. You come here to be isolated in paradise to enjoy the views, and the town definitely isn't that. Within like five minutes, the heavens have well and truly opened. We were lucky we got the tea just in time. But now look, you can't see anything. You can't see any of the plantations. So, chocolate? Chocolate factory. Chocolate. Hey. Makofa. Makof <laughs> what is Makofa? Factory. Oh, that's the name. Okay. Excellent. We've heard that not only tea is famous in Muna, it is also famous for Kerala as a whole for chocolate. And there's no way that we're going out in this to see anything else for the meantime, so I don't mind stuffing my face with a little bit of chocolate. Here we are. I am very excited to try the complete chocolate experience. Not all of them were actually open, so we've managed to find one, the Makofa. Looks like it's a roastery as well, so. It's oh, huge. Oh, Do you reckon they make it here as well? I don't know, but I just want to eat some chocolate. Hello. Oh, it smells, like oh, it smells so good. This is heaven. Do you eat it every day? Because I would. This looks amazing. Do you have like a tasting that we yes. can do? Yes. If you want to explain the process of making your Okay. Oh, that would be amazing. Thank you. And did you see this before? No, first this time. This is cocoa, right? Yes, 80% of this cocoa is grown in here. And this is not a mature one. Mature one becomes like yellow color. Okay. And inside the food, like seeds are there. The seeds to make chocolate. So one yep. food is having like 20 to 30 seeds. Yep. Now 100 kilo chocolate making, we have to use like 250 kilo seeds, 400 kilo chocolate. Wow. Oh my God. It's so very these, complicated. It is really complicated because inside this is those seeds and it's the seeds that I think that they use to make the chocolate. So here they actually shape, mold and freeze all the chocolate. They have a factory that does all the roasting and the fermenting, um, but I'm just, my eyes are just on this. What should we try? Yeah. Which ones? <laughs> it looks so good. Milk chocolate. 
fillings like mango and blackcurrant. Oh wow, thank mango you. Mango and this one is blackcurrant. Mm. Mango. Oh Interesting. And this one is blackcurrant. Oh wow. Mm. This is the dark chocolate 80% Oh my gosh. 80%? Yeah. So I'm in heaven. This is a healthy one. It's so good. Mm. It's a truffle that is unreal. And this is 100%. Thank you. 100% chocolate? Wow, that's wow. going to be quite strong, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It just tastes like health. <laughs> you know? Can I eat it in one or a little bite? Oh, wow, it's quite bitter. Wow. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, I've never had 100% chocolate before. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. After a while. Ooh. We both have like really like tea. <laughs> okay, I think I would like some butter nutty, crunchy crackle. Oh, some cashew. Roasted cashew. Pistachio. Pistachio. All of them, basically. Okay. And then can we also get which ones did I like here? I really liked. Can we get the pineapple and the mango as well, please? Oh, that looks so good. Okay, I think that's good. Thank you. I'm excited. We have a quarter kilo box of chocolate. I know what I'm going to be snacking on later. I feel sick. That was a bad idea. He ended up giving me like 15 different <laughs> chocolates and we've bought a quarter of a kilogram to finish for the rest of the day. But in the land of tea, mm, it's a difficult task to find a cappuccino. They don't even do a cappuccino in our hotel. So we've come into, you know what, I don't even know what the name of the hotel is, but the view but this is this is helping. It's taking away the yeah, sick feeling. The help, coffee. It's getting rid of the sick feeling, um, and the views are absolutely unreal. You know, this is one hundred rupees, so one pound for a cappuccino. And our hotel, I think, is somewhere down there, at the bottom of the valley. But if you want a cappuccino, come up to. No idea. There's no one here to ask. Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> Everyone's ignoring me. I don't know. You can find a cappuccino for yourself, but this is stunning. Look at the views. They don't just have the valley, they also have the tea fields there in the distance. We've got to drink this quick because mm, we've got a special lunch at the hotel, being that it is Onham. That by the time you see this, Onham would have been a long time ago. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> So for lunch, we are actually having the sadia. After not having it at all, we're now having, this is our second time of having it. So we have salt, salt always comes first. And, and apparently then, everything is gonna be a different color. Oh my God, so now we have? Sweet, this is gonna be for our dessert. It's a dessert, it's a Thank you. This is so cool, there's like a line of people coming and adding each particular dish. And there are just so many colors going on here. Oh my God, look at this. Thank you. Now we know that's beetroot because it's pink. And we're in the overflow room. Yeah, there's too many people next door having their sadia, so we're in the overflow. <laughs> Here we go, 26 different dishes, all in different colours. And you're supposed to start from left to right. I'm going to start with something sweet to cover the palate. Very crunchy. I have no idea what that is. And then we have banana chips, which is salty. And then you move on the pickles, the chutneys, curries, and the rice with your hands. Mm. Carolyn rice is so good.